one of the page types that we have in the Visio interface is a line diagram uh, page type or a line page type and that's what we see here this is a completed line diagram uh, all of the shapes on this page are using the JPEG image that we've associated with the products uh, to see that you can select any one of these products double click it to open the properties and you'll see that that's the JPEG image and if there is a JPEG associated with the product that's the line shape that will drop by default uh, if there is nothing assigned no JPEG assigned it's gonna drop a, a block shape and I'll demonstrate both of those right now so for instance I'm gonna drag this component over to this page I'll drop it there you see that this dropped the JPEG now even though it is a, a JPEG image in this shape there's also some information listed there the manufacturer the model and the component ID and if there is no JPEG it's gonna look like this pull this over and you see it's just a block with the information in there um, so these shapes properties of them they can be resized you can drag these out and drag them from side to side uh, if you right click you'll see options for the shape that we've added uh, whether or not to show the text blocks or not. Merging the text blocks will keep the manufacturer and model number with the component ID. If you uncheck that, it splits them. You can keep it snapped to shape. You can kind of see it jumps around when I move this because it's snapping to specific spots around the, uh, the shape. If you right click and choose not to snap the text block position it's much smoother, put it wherever you want. And the other option here, the show text call out up here at the top that's this little line that you see here if you do drag this little yellow handle away from the shape you at least know where it applies and it, it can come in handy when you've got a lot of shapes on the page the uh, other three options that you see here have to do with the spacing around the shape and those are for the connection points if you plan to connect these with uh, line connectors or Visio connector tools right now I'm not showing my connection or connection points on this particular page to do that go to view and you can expand this so you see everything, but it's connection points is an option. And to give an example here, so let me right click. This is medium point spacing. If I go small point spacing, it will add more connection points to that shape. So you can uh, snap your line connectors appropriately. So as far as connecting shapes go on this page, uh, you have a couple of options. You could use the Visio connector tool, which I have here. You can drag, left click, drag, and any time you get near a connection point, it turns red. I've just made a connection. You can use the handles afterwards to position the line any way you choose. Or you can use the shapes we've created. Let me go ahead and go back to my pointer tool. And go to the wire and cable stencil and dock it. And there are two line connector shapes in here that are not linked to products in the database. These wire shapes are. If I were to drag one of these wire shapes over, say, Rough and Wire 2, I'm going to get prompted to pick a product from my database to add to the proposal or to the project data matrix. Cancel that. If instead you want to add a line connector, you can use these. Uh, black line connector is just that. It's just a line connector, but it does have an arrow on the end of it by default. Uh, or you can pull this one over, and it will actually see where it says type on there. As soon as I drop this, I'll be prompted to pick what type of wire this is. And this is looking at the wire and cable type list. Whether it's an audio, a video cable, and there's some color coding, some presets in here, like audio. It's going to turn blue, and then it fills in with the word audio. So it's your option with, uh, whether you use this connector tool or you use these two connector tools that we've built. Uh, if you do decide to go with the Visio connector tool, it's essentially a line, so you treat it as a line in Visio. So let me go ahead and just, I'm sorry, grab this end here and select that. And you can use any of these options here to change the line weight, the line pattern, or what the ends look like. If you want to put arrows on one or both ends, if it's a bi directional signal, uh, your choice. So that sums up a line diagram page.